What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we're unboxing the Women's Air Jordan 3 Rust Pink. Now this sneaker did release about a week ago. I actually hit on two pairs, but one pair I did have some trouble with confirming on Hibbit, and I wasn't too sure about why. It was an online pickup that actually you have to pay for the day that you hit, which is the day before release day, and they'll ship the shoe to you on release day, but I did have some unfortunate situations go on there. Unfortunately, I did not get that pair, but I was fortunate enough to luck up and hit on finish line, so big ups finish line for the W. Big ups Hibbit as well, even though I did not get to claim that pair time ran out still big ups to Hibbit as well now guys comment below and let me know if you guys went after this shoe if you knew about it if you did not you don't care for the colorway now it is a women's release so women comment below as well and let me know if you went after this guys if you do or don't rock women's sneakers I like to know that as well in the comments below because that may deter some people from going after this shoe and it does have a very significant sort of women's look to it but I began to look at the shoe in a little bit of a different aspect as far as trying to swag the shoe out even though I'll probably keep these as collectors, who knows, maybe I'll throw them on feet. But when I think about that, you throw that bright crimson in there with that rust pink, which if you didn't know, the bright crimson is the same colorway that is on the Travis Scott 6 British khaki, which appears to be an infrared sort of look. It does swag the shoe out a lot more, especially if you were to add in a fit that could match somewhat with that. But enough of that, guys, you get the point. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on feet to release videos. Now again, my apologies for getting this to you guys so late. I've been very, very busy and getting videos recorded, edited, thrown out here, published on the internet, on YouTube. Hey man, it's very, very time consuming and I just have not had the time recently. Not that I'm getting away from the unboxings, it's just that it may take a little bit of time because some of the other things that I've had going on personally, which again has been pretty time consuming. However, here we are. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, as you can see here, we have our typical Air Jordan 3 box with the elephant print on the bottom and the black lid. We also get that red Jumpman right there smack dab in the center. On the bottom of the box, we get our typical Nike and Air Jordan branding. And on one side of the box, we get that Air Jordan branding with our size sticker. And the size sticker reads Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro. The colorway is Rust Pink Bright Crimson Sale. This is a women's size 11, which converts to a men's nine and a half. Now, this isn't my personal size. However, I can fit a nine and a half, but I typically go after a 10 in men's. However, the Air Jordan 3 does run about a half a size big in some cases, so this one should be okay. The suggested retail value on the shoe is 190 US dollars. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what we have under the lid. All right, as you can see here, we have our typical takeoff lid on the box, and we do get that red up under the lid. I don't see a lot number or anything in there. Get my receipt out of the way. And flipping the paper up, you can see we do have that elephant print paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there you have it, guys, the Women's Air Jordan 3 Rust Pink. A very, very clean shoe in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on it. Alright guys, just looking at the shoe in hand, I'm really, really digging the look of the shoe. Very, very dope. Glad I got this shoe. I almost passed on it, again, simply because it's a women's pair, and it does have some pink going on there. Not saying that men can't wear pink, but it almost does look like a women's release. However, when I got it in hand, I was really, really impressed. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can really swag these out, especially with that bright crimson and that pink on there, because it is rust pink. It's not like a hot pink or anything like that, so it can be universal. However, 
right, well, let's go ahead and go over the shoe in depth, starting with the outsole. Here we do get a translucent, milky sort of outsole on here. Very, very nice. We don't typically get this on men's pairs, so this is another reason why I really wanted the shoe. Just a very, very nice vibe to the outsole there, guys, setting the shoe off completely. Moving on up to the midsole, we do get a cell sort of midsole here. It does look to be less cell than some of the Air Jordans that we've seen, especially on Air Jordan 1s. It's not that yellowish, brownish look, but it still is cell or maybe an off-white look. It's really hard to see inside of that air bubble, but we also get a cell look inside of there as well. And right here on this rear piece on the midsole, we do get that bright crimson painted on there. Very, very nice. Moving on up to the upper here in the forefront of the shoe, we do get some elephant print just going around our toe cap or that mud guard, whatever you want to call it. And it does have a really, really nice texture to it. Some great elephant print right there. As you know, it is new buck on that material. We also get that right there on the rear of the shoe. And of course, as you guys see here, we do have our air hang tag and that is in bright crimson. Very, very nice and it's see-through, just a dope look. They do put these on the women's shoes a lot. However, I wish they would put this more on the men's pairs because this is a dope touch. Pause for a second, guys. Comment below, let me know how you guys feel about hang tags on your shoes. Is that something that you guys rock with? Or do you take it off, throw it in the box, never look at it again? Maybe you hang it up somewhere like your rear view mirror. I don't know, maybe use it as a keychain. I don't know, guys. Comment below and let me know. Me personally, if I cop a shoe with the hang tag on it, best believe I'm rocking it. 80s baby, 90s raised me, man. That is our era, rocking tags on things back in the day. And since we are bringing back nostalgia with these retro sneakers, yes, sir. I am definitely staying with that look. Anyways, here primarily on our upper, we do get some new but guys, very nice soft new bug going all around this mud guard as well as the upper here as you can clearly see. And that is in rust pink, which does match pretty well with the rust pink painted here on the elephant print. Now right here on these front eyelets, we do get some bright crimson, the little rings here, as well as we get that up top on that single eyelet, very, very nice. And we also get some cell color right here on this leather piece. Now this does not have the perforated holes like we typically see on an Air Jordan 3, as well as we get here on the collar that same leather no perforated holes on that and I think it just gives it a clean look versus that perforated look which is clean as well but this one is just a smooth leather very very nice we also get some sale here on these three eyelids nice as well blends right in with that leather piece and about that leather guys it is not the softest leather but it is not the roughest leather either it is just a smooth solid leather synthetic but smooth however that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the shoe moving along and on the medial side of the shoe we get a very similar look that we got on the lateral side of the shoe. Taking a look at the top of the shoe, as you can see, we do have that sail going around our midsole, elephant print here going around the toe cap, that new buck going around our mud guard as well as our toe box in that rust pink color. Sail on our tongue just going straight up to the top, that smooth leather. We also get sail flat laces in place, very clean. And at the top of the tongue, we do get a stitch jump man in bright crimson. On to the back of the shoe, again, that translucent outsole going up to that sail midsole with the bright crimson on the midsole as well. Rust pink elephant print on the back and rust pink new buck going all the way up to that pull tab. And something different about the pull tab here is it is all new buck. It is not plastic like we do see on some of the Air Jordan 3s. And we also get this stitch jump man with the air in rust pink as well, which is a little bit of a different touch as well because usually this whole back tab here is plastic. Translucent is how they kind of been doing it lately. But some of the OGs are more of a solid plastic, but in this case it is new buck and we also get that stitch jump man instead of a plastic jump man. So a very nice touch that does give it a little bit more of a women's kind of feel per se, in my opinion, but I do think it is still dope. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, it is like almost a little nick in that new buck and that is a flaw on my pair. So I do like to point out flaws, guys, because these shoes are not perfect. However, I do believe for the price point that they should be a little more perfect than that. And speaking of flaws, I do have that same sort of situation going on here is just a little bit lighter than that dark area on the back of the shoe and it's almost like the new buck has been sort of scratched away and so it's a little flat in that area and a little hard almost like glue I don't know maybe that is glue I really don't know guys but it is a flaw it's a minor flaw but it's a flaw now I know these shoes are GR and for those who don't know what that means general release that means they are mass produced for the public and there's gonna be some flaws guys but comment below and let me know how you all feel about flaws especially when you're spending over $200 for a pair of shoes.
shoes for me. That's quite hefty to have anything going on like that with the shoe because there are other brands out there who seem to kind of get it right, especially for that price point. However, guys, moving along to the interior, as you can see, we do have a white sock liner and mesh material, and we have a white insole with a bright crimson Jumpman painted on there. We also get our cardboard shoe tree inside, as well as we get more white mesh on the back of the tongue. And it's a little hard to see, but we also get our size tag on the back of the tongue, right on top of that cardboard. All right, guys, and last but not least, one of the best features on the shoe, the outsole looking very, very nice. Again, that milky sort of translucent outsole. Maybe that sail, I'm not too sure, but it is very clean. It does give it a frosted kind of milky look. Then we get that hit of bright crimson right there in the forefoot. And then we also get a bright crimson Jordan text right there in the center with a solid sail piece right here that the Jordan is on. But overall, pretty dope in my opinion, guys. The outsole is actually one of my favorite parts of the shoe, if not my favorite part altogether. Very, very clean. However, you just saw right here on All About the Sneakers, the Women's Air Jordan 3 Rust Pink, a very dope sneaker, and I'm glad to have this in the collection. Again, comment below, guys. Let me know what you all think about this shoe, as well as if you went after this, you copped it, you dropped it, whatever, guys. Comment below and let me know. Now, let's go ahead and do one more quick 360 on the shoe. And let's get one last look at the shoe before we put it away. All right, again, guys, you just saw it right here on All About the Sneakers, the Women's Air Jordan 3, rust pink, clean, clean, clean. That's all I can say. You have to get this shoe in hand to see it, feel it, touch it, smell it, all of that good stuff to really understand what's going on with the sneaker. Some videos or some images out there may not do it justice, but it is very clean, guys. Take my word for it. However, again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. But that is all I have for you guys today on this episode. Thank you as always for watching. Now, if you will, please go follow me over at IG, guys. And that is at all about the sneaker spelled just the way that it is here on the channel with the Z on the N instead of an S. I greatly appreciate it. But again, that's all I have for you guys today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute, I'm out. <laughs>